chosen ones i just wanted to say that somebody's over there disliking everything you putting out on social media today because all they have from you is a picture let me tell you something i want to say it just one more time somebody's sitting over there mad today disliking everything that you do on your social media platforms or anything you're doing in town baby they got something to say about it because the only piece of you they got is a picture i want you to understand that they had plans for you see they came in real real strong it was too good to be true i almost swept you completely up off your feet but because you have done the work on yourself you were able to sit there and wait to see what was going to happen and the first sign of that same pattern that you normally would get yourself wrapped up into, you said, I don't think so. Block, delete, no more talking to you. I want you to understand that they are so upset with you today because all they have is a picture. I want you to know that when you pray for things and you ask God for things and you're saying that you really want to change in your life, he will allow the enemy to test you. To see if, in fact, you really want that change. It will be a test presented before you to see if you really want to have a wholesome relationship with a man or a woman. It will be situations and circumstances to arise. To see, in fact, if you are ready to take it to the next level. And I want to congratulate you. Honey, congratulations, baby. Because I want to let you know that all they got is that one picture. Congratulations, sweet thing. I just want you to know that all they got was a few minutes of your time. Congratulations, honey. Because you have tapped into the infinite flow of the all-seeing God. And because of that, you didn't take the bait. I want you to understand this today that they had plans not only to come into your life and bamboozle you and seem like you know they were matching your frequency oh my god this is everything that i have prayed for can you believe this i mean this is the man or the woman of my dreams they came into my life and they really wanted to get up in your face because if they could ever get in front of your face and sit with you, they really would have tried to pull you in to that whole low vibrational toxic situation. See, what they really wanted was to come into your life and seduce your mind with a false image of who they sincerely really are. They wanted to get you into a situation to strip you outside of the will of God. Because the enemy knows that if he could ever get you outside of the will of God, that he has full access to you. See, God doesn't say that we want experienced trials or tribulations sometimes. But when we're connected to God, God we can coast through the trial. We can coast through the tribulation. But when you're outside of the will of God and you disconnect from God, baby, you about die trying to make it through the trial, trying to make it through that tribulation. And because you were wise and because you have done work on yourself, baby, all they have of you is that little picture. Whatever little image that you done send them with you saying cheese, turn to the side. Honey, all they got is a picture from you. They mad today. Because they really wanted to feed on your energy. Because I want you to understand that it is a counterfeit person that they, they walk, these spirits, get in people, and they're counterfeit. These people are shells of people. They're not really consciously aware that they're being used by the devil. Okay, but the whole goal is to come into your life. Okay, get you outside of the will of God and get you off of your course so that you would never live out your purpose. And I am so proud of you, all the work you've been doing, all the praying you've been doing, all the educating you've been doing for yourself, reading good things, journaling, going for long walks, being mindful of making sure that you're hydrated, putting good sources of plants and vegetables and proteins in your system, really doing good deeds and opening the door for somebody and smiling and really taking time to allow God to come into your space so that you will be more like him. 
And because you've allowed God to come into your space, because you're constantly allowing God in your face, you have become a reflection of what he thought that you always would be. And because of that, you have saved yourself from being used. You have saved yourself from being abused. You have saved yourself from being manipulated. You have saved yourself from being heartbroken, baby. Because the only thing that they have from you today is a picture. I'm so proud of you. You did that. And until the next video, guys. Peace. Bye now.